Good evening to everybody present on the live stream. I hope you guys are as excited as we are to be a part of this today. I know it's very unfortunate that we haven't been able to meet you uh, in real life, but I'm going to be absolutely best to create the best experience we can for you. And we hope that you can uh, just um, walk with us today. But we have a lot of very, very cool things planned out. So you may be wondering, what exactly is all the buzz about? Firstly, when you hear the word entrepreneurship, you're going to think, oh, it's about a startup. Oh, it's about being my own thing, make, making it big. But that's not what all entrepreneurship is about. Entrepreneurship encompasses every single skill that you require on a daily basis. Welcome to everybody present here. My name is Dhruv Shetty and I am the president of the entrepreneurship cell. None of the entrepreneurship cell would not have been possible at all without the support of the Center of Innovation and Entrepreneurship, uh, whose director is here, Satya Prasad sir, Professor Satya Prasad. Uh, Satya Prasad sir, if you could just say a few words about the entrepreneurship cell, your entire journey, uh, that would be great. Over to you, sir. Okay. Uh, you don't know what you're asking me to do. I can speak for an hour. I can speak for a day, but uh, how much time do we really have? How much time do you Just want me to? Five minutes, sir. Five minutes. Five minutes. Okay. All right. So folks, um, very excited uh, that, uh, you know, ESL is uh, starting off the semester with an orientation. Uh, there is loads of stuff uh, that uh, ESL at uh, PS University has to offer. And, uh, I guess we have not met. So first, a warm welcome to PS University. Um, you know, a bunch of you have not even seen your classmates. Uh, all the dreams that you had of going from school to college, uh, you know, the real college. Of course, some of you went for, you know, the first PU, second PU. So there's a ton of stuff that, uh, you know, I think awaits you. One of the things that is super exciting at PS, uh, at least it's very exciting for me and the bunch of folks that you see here are, uh, you know, from the Center for Innovation and Entrepreneurship and the student arm of uh, that is uh, the ESA. Um, the thing that we try and focus on is, you know, we're not here to um, make you a startup founder, right? If you wanna become a startup founder, you will become one way or the other. And the most, uh, you know, the, kind of the best example I can give is I lived in the Silicon Valley for a long time, but I never joined a startup. I was content, happy, and enjoyed working for Intel. Um, so, you know, the, what we try and do is to enable a ton of experiences while you're still in college, right? Something that, you know, for instance, I didn't have, um, and most of your parents wouldn't have had that opportunity, but you guys do, right? So, um, so let me take a step back, uh, quickly introduce myself, and then I'll introduce CIE and then ESL, and, um, you know, and what are some of the things that you can do in order to make the next four years of your life uh, really fun and exciting. Right? So uh, my name is Satya and um, I spent a little over 20 years at Intel. Uh, I've done both the tech part of it, deep tech. Uh, I did analog circuit design. I started with that. And, uh, but I've also worked in the, on the dark side, uh, you know, the marketing strategy, um, product development and such. And I have both a formal background in hardcore engineering in EE. And I also have uh, my management degree from MIT Sloan. Um, so lots of fun stuff. And I also did a startup outside of Intel. And, um, you know, I can only tell you that it's a very exciting journey, right? So um, I now head the uh, Center for Innovation and Entrepreneurship where I work with very young uh, entrepreneurs or would-be entrepreneurs, aspiring entrepreneurs. Uh, and I also teach at uh, IM Bangalore uh, on new product innovation. Um, super excited uh, that, and over the last three years, and I'll just share some numbers, uh, not a whole lot. We've seen some incredible stuff come out of the students. And what I would like to leave you with, if nothing else today is, please make use of this platform. It's been built with a lot of love and care um, by a lot of uh, very um, you know, diligent students. Um, and there's some fantastic stuff to offer. Uh, for your next four years of your journey. So without boring you with all the rest of the details, um, I, I'd like to see if Madhukar is here. Uh, a quick intro from Madhukar Narsimha, I think would be in order before I wrap it off. Uh, Madhukar, I, I see you online. Uh, do you want to say hello? 
it's both mute and the video is off. Okay, so no worries. Uh, he can, uh, I guess, when he comes back. So what I'd like to do, folks, is just give you like maybe, I know you see a lot of PPT every day. Uh, I'm going to promise you no more than 60 seconds um, so that you could, you know, just see a quick thing here. Um, all right. Um, so here we go. So CIE is also a startup journey, right? Um, it's no different. Uh, we built it uh, from you know a little room in uh, the beef. I don't know how to remove this, but uh, hope you can not look at it. Um, yeah, so CIE started in this one small room in B block uh, and then went on to you know be something like this in January 2018. And the reason I show you this is, you know, the entire conceptualization and the design of CIE, which I'll show you in a minute, was done by students. And that's what uh, we are most proud of, right? So there are tremendous opportunities, right? CIE is, you know, essentially think of it as experience unlimited. And ESL is an extension of that. So six students got a chance to design this makerspace, which, you know, is like this. So when you come in on February 1st or whenever it is that the college opens up, uh, you'll see this fantastic space that was essentially designed by students right so not many places so the fact that we are young gives you these kind of opportunities so uh, this is just one the second one is you know we've grown in strength over the three years that we have been and i want to show you something that is super exciting for everybody in the audience right so we've had about a thousand plus students who have taken cie courses for credit right this is not some seminar not some workshop these are people who've taken it for credits 19 cohorts. Uh, this number is actually now 10 lakhs uh, of industry grants and prizes. Um, we've got very good connections with the industry, Microsoft, Cisco. Uh, this year we're running Cisco Thinkubator. Last two years uh, we've run uh, the Intel uh, contest, research contest, a ton of stuff. So here are some results, right? So five full-time placements, um, both in the industry and startup. Uh, when I say industry, you know, four of them went to Intel. Um, internships converted into full-time things. And, you know, this they didn't even have these openings, but they were so impressed with some of the tech capabilities of students like you. Uh, they opened up and five of them are working at, uh, you know, either Intel or one of the startups. 13 industry internships over the last three years. Uh, three highly technical, uh, technical publications. Um, uh, over the last uh, year, uh, and these are tier one journals, uh, tier one conferences, so high quality, right? Two IEEEs and one international conference on pattern recognition. The reason I'm saying this is there is plenty of opportunities. If you like design, if you like technology, if you like, you know, hardcore, um, you know, management, um, we're fortunate to have had students who came in in all different flavors, and they found. Uh, you know, what they're passionate about. So I'd like to just, and this is the last slide, right? And I'd like to leave you with the fact that, uh, and, and by the way, yeah, not to, I, I couldn't even come up with the number. I usually like to do numbers, and but the number of events that ESL has conducted, far too many to recount. So uh, very exciting stuff. Um, mm -hmm. I leave you with one sentence, try and find out who you are. That's the whole, that's, that's, that's the entire journey. And uh, there's a last quote that I'd like to make, a favorite of mine uh, from Mark Twain. Um, there are two important days in your life, the day you're born and the day you find out why, right? And I think ESL and CIE can be a small part of your journey. I don't promise to be one of the godmen who say, oh, you come to CIE and ESL and you will discover yourself. No, that's not true. But I think uh, there is enough exciting events, platforms, uh, uh, opportunities for you to come, whether you're a tinkerer, whether you're a marketer, whether you're a design person, whether you like to teach, um, you know, I think there's a place under the sun uh, for everybody. So with that uh, note, I'd like to kind of stop because PowerPoint, uh, you know, I don't want to cause death by PowerPoint. So I'll just stop here. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, this CIE has been instrumental into building ESL into what it is today. And none of it would have been possible without you and Madhuka sir. I know Madhuka sir is on call, but for some reason, uh, Madhuka sir, will you be, uh, are you able to unmute and talk? Yeah, yeah. There's some uh, bandwidth problem I'm facing, so I have been on call and I was listening to Satya. Um, great initiative, ESL guys, the team, Dhruv, and Neil, Utkarsh, all of you who I can see on the call. Great going. 
one thing I just want to share over here is CI. Um, well, we have had a very exciting journey so far. Um, really, I mean, most of us, including Satya and me, and all the students who have been in touch with CI. Uh, CI <clears throat> sorry, with CI. Uh, well, then we have found it very exciting. And I guess the same goes for anybody who's coming in, I hope at least. Uh, another, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, thing I want to share is the E-cell is a very, very, very uh, active body uh, that's uh, in college now. And uh, whoever's there on the call from the first years, please, you know, close your eyes and, you know, uh, associate yourselves with the E-cell. Lots of things happening, lots of interesting things, and uh, just wanted to leave you with that. Over to go back to you, Dhruv. Thank you so much, Madhukar, sir. Thank you. And uh, none of this would have been possible without the support of uh, Satya sir and Madhukar sir. So thank you so much for joining us. So uh, you may be wondering about the history of ESL. So ESL started out a long time ago. This is actually the eighth edition of ESL, and every year has just brought out so, so many new people. And uh, this, we are currently in ESL 7.0. Uh, each ESL generation happens in August. Uh, usually we get in new recruits during that time. However, due to the whole COVID situation, we pushed it by six months. But we are very excited to have all of you on the YouTube live stream uh, to be a part of the ESL. So the ESL is not about, uh, like I mentioned, is not just about entrepreneurship. Uh, all of you who watched the after hours video, it's not an electrical cell. That's one very, very common misconception. But it's somewhere where you can really bold in your skills. You can learn public speaking, presentation. You can learn how exactly you can talk in an interview. How can you make that person really admire you? What are the skills that you require? And it ranges from everything. These aren't skills that can be taught to you in a classroom. These are skills that can only be taught to you when you are uh, running an event, when you are actively being a part of the club. So this orientation is all about how exactly you can get the best benefit out of the entrepreneurship cell. So you may be wondering what the structure is all about. Uh, Neil, who is the uh, executive officer, will now be talking about the structure. Uh, hey guys, uh, you, my name is uh, Dhruva, am I audible, by the way? Yes, yes, Neil. Okay, okay. Uh, so, hey guys, uh, my name is Neil Saungikar. Um, I'm the chief executive officer of ESL, uh, and I had the club with my friends Dhruv and Sashwat. Um, so, you know, if I had to talk about my experience at ESL, I could go on and on for days because there's literally so much I have learned over the past three years, uh, but we don't have that much time now. So, um, I'm going to tell you about one small instance. So uh, when I joined ESL as a fresher, I had actually joined late. And, uh, you know, out of the various activities which ESL conducts, um, we have one of the one of the activities is going to an NGO and uh, spending time, um, you know, with, with the kids there, uh, they're underprivileged and blind kids. So uh, that was the first event uh, which I, you know, which I attended as a part of ESL. And, uh, you know, it was truly magical. We got to learn a lot from the kids, you know, we taught the kids so, so, so many things. We got to learn a lot from the kids and uh, overall it was an amazing day. So, uh, you know, before I joined ESL, I was listening to this motivational speech and the speaker, he was saying that at the end of your life, when you are on your deathbed, you're not going to, you're not going to remember how much money you made, or you're not going to remember like where, like who you are or what you are in your life, but you are going to remember some of the magical moments which actually changed your life and you'll cherish those for the rest of your lives. And, you know, going to that NGO that day, that was like one of the most magical moments in my life. And uh, from that day on, I started giving my 100% to ESL. And um, uh, Gayatri, I'd request you to go to the next slide, please. Okay, so um, I just don't want to be, keep talking about myself. So uh, I'll go, uh, I'll get to the structure. So uh, first, uh, we have a community of more than 200 plus active individuals who attend our workshops, seminars, and they promote all the ventures which uh, you know we bring out as ESL. And then we have the inner circle. 
so the inner circle is only for 40 it consists of only 40 members and these members basically run the club they get hands on experience on all the ventures we conduct they get to network with some of the most successful people out there and you know um, overall they basically run the club so the recruitments which you guys will be coming for after the orientation would be for the inner circle and uh, i wish you all the very best for those um uh, gachi please go to the next slide okay so uh, i'm going to briefly talk about uh, you know some of the recent events uh, which we've had so um, you know we conduct a lot of events throughout the year but uh, here i'm just going to talk about three of them so um, which happened recently so first is decipher so uh, decipher was a 48 hour hackathon which we did uh, with collab in collaboration with cie and uh, it had 80 teams and 250 plus participants and uh, you know we had a lot of mentors Uh, and the the speciality of this hackathon was you know most all the hackathons are usually you know it's 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 mostly technical stuff but you know in our hackathon we had people from various domains like you know we had this we had people from the service sector we had people from all sorts of uh, places coming into this hackathon and um, you know it was a huge success uh, we were fortunate to have uh, really good mentors uh, out of which uh, we had the likes of the ceo of rapido uh that's the that's it's basically rapido is a company uh who um they have uh bike taxis and you know that's that's how they function so uh that was all about decipher um then we had this event called tlos which is the last one standing so this was an elimination based type of competition and it was for all round development and you know we put them through various rounds of marketing pr and you know all these different sorts of rounds and and the team which was standing at the end got the prize so that that was what tlos was about and we had 114 teams coming in there we had 200 plus participants overall and we also had cs santosh who's the first indian to complete the dhaka rally he's a, he's a motocross uh, driver and you know he told us all about his entrepreneurial journey and overall it was a huge success we you know tlos was like one of my personal favorite events and then finally we had the e summit 2020 which happened recently so this was basically our flagship event it it was one of the biggest events which we've conducted so far um you know we had speaker sessions workshops webinars uh we had a launch pad basically launch pad is a place where um you know we had a startup and internship fair and uh, you know these companies would come down and talk to these students and a lot of students were able to bag internships as well so we had 800 plus attendees nationwide um and the best part was at the end we had the ex cfo of microsoft which is uh, mr amresh ramaswamy um you know uh, with the good grace of cie we managed to get him for the e summit as well so uh, overall the e summit was a success and um, you know these events um we conduct these events and they are conducted with the help of the various domains which we have in esl so um i'm going to give it over to uh, um uh, gaji could you please go to the next slide please okay next one yeah so i'm going to give it over to samyukta who's the head of the content domain uh, samyukta over to you please yeah hey guys so uh, you know sometimes you just notice about how some pictures or some instagram post just have more impact than the others that's how powerful its con content is you know that's why these pictures actually stand out and that's exactly how the content domain works So we have two parts. One is for social media, in which the content domain works smoothly between research and design, and we make sure that we shorten the information that research gives us, and you know we make it more impactful and more appealing. And the other is all the other content that you see for any event, like even the promotional message that you saw for the orientation that was by content domain. So any content that you see that goes out of ESL is by our domain, and we do everything like. mails for guests and participants for any event we do marketing mails content for post event reports everything goes by us and we even had hosted a blog writing competition in which we even designed the posters for it you know so it was really kind of funny to be honest about how content was designing posters but we all learned a teeny bit of design as well and that's how powerful and flexible esl is and we just imagine the content domain was learning design and we all were so happy with it and that, i mean i'm just telling that you know you can push yourself in esl and learn as much as you want to and just a small personal experience in about how i pushed myself was in the start of the year when i joined i couldn't even 
go and attend my first fest you know because i was so underconfident in myself and i couldn't even volunteer even though i wanted to so and then i joined esel and esel just helped me so much and built my confidence and gave me so many skills just because i pushed myself a teeny bit so that's how much esel has helped me and that's all about the content domain too and next we'll you know over to gayathri Hey everyone, I'm Gayatri Sunil. Uh, along with me, Akhil and I, together, we head the design team. So, like my friend Samyukta said, the content research and design team work together in harmony. So, we are responsible for converting all of the content given to us into a visual format so that we can put it up on our social media handles. We're also responsible to make uh, the posters and all the other information that comes out of the club so that you guys, the rest of the college, and everyone else will be able to see it. one thing you guys must be thinking is that you will have to have some kind of uh, design background if you want to join this domain but let me tell you that's not true both akhil and i are engineering students with no design uh, background whatsoever so as long as you have an eye for uh, aesthetics or uh, visually appealing design you're more than welcome to be part of this domain and even i started knowing almost nothing and this club has helped me grow is helped me grow so much in like such a short amount of time so if you what you invest into this club and into this domain is what you will reap from it next i'd like to hand it over to dhruv uh, who will talk about the marketing domain hi so what do you what do you think marketing is about so i know i can see 120 people 120 people on the youtube so i'm just going to take like a minute and um just wait for people to really talk about what exactly marketing is about so actually there's a lag between the zoom link and the youtube link so we won't wait but marketing is not only about um getting sponsors or selling your product or selling some your startup when you go for an interview who do you think you are, what do you exactly have to market when you go talk to a person even if you're making a friend you have to sell yourself now i know sell yourself sounds wrong but at the end of the day that's what really matters selling yourself is what gets you places and that is one of the biggest lessons that i personally have learned so i started out in um college i started on college just as a, a regular fresher just like you guys i didn't know anything about what i had to do but then i got into the esl i got into marketing and one of the first thing that i did was for atmosphere i went i spoke to sponsors now obviously i thought okay i have to market art atmatrisha i have to market what happened in the fest but that's not it all what i had to do what i had to do however was convince them that i am someone who they can trust even in an interview when you go talk to someone you have to convince them that you are someone they can trust you are someone that you know what you're saying that's what i mean by selling yourself when you sell yourself you get to do things you would never thought possible so Uh, now i can see in the youtube chat uh, chat as well it's a selling your product the best way possible again marketing does have a lot of impact in selling your product there's a lot of components that come into marketing so a little bit more about me i work uh, with two major brands you'll see them shortly but i work with uh, red bull and i work with one plus i actually run the marketing for red bull within the student community and for one plus as well and there are just so many things that you really learn those are the kind of things that we want to really teach you and um, these are things that really really benefit you so yeah, that that's pretty much it uh, there there's no way i can explain the complete sp uh, scope of marketing even if you give me two days so do join the esl and you will learn a lot more uh, the next slide guys So, over to Amritesh about tech. Hey guys, I'm Amritesh. So, 
tech as simple as that is not just finding solutions to different problem we we are not making right now products here what we do is we conduct when we conduct events each event has its own requirement and technical requirement it can be as simple as deciding what uh, platform you want to use for that event or to just designing a website for that particular event so it can be as simple as that so what we do is we 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 create different we help the all these events to work function perfectly now uh, what what one of my favorite work and i i work with the design as well as the tech team and what i i felt was i worked with the one of the major events that we conducted was end game during atmatrisha and we worked uh, totally on the tech team department so we worked designed a, a website for that particular event and now we had an e summit that was totally online due to this pandemic and what we did was we conducted everything online through this tech domain as well so tech domain played a very important role now isel conducts a lot of these events throughout the year so we'll have a lot of work over the whole year now to talk of uh, talk more about it i'll, I'll uh, to talk uh, about the next domain i'll hand it over to Ut utkarsh Uh, hello everyone uh, my name is utkash i'm the head of operations and i'm the social media uh, research lead for esel so what our domain does is everything almost all of the educational content that goes up on our instagram page whether that's based on investment strategies or the stock stock market or personal finance or just general amazing stories about real life entrepreneurs the lesser heard yet fantastic stories it's all decided and curated by the research domain so not only do people in this domain learn so much along the way they get the opportunity to immediately spread that knowledge to the entire following of esel and this is what makes me so excited about being in this domain which is working with the people here which is that week after week after week during the entirety of the pandemic and the lockdowns the entire team delivered terrific content and we esel were one of the only few clubs in the college that were actually posting regularly now what excites me even more now is that what we've got in store for the coming year whether it's the potential in expanding our website or uh, kick starting our own podcast which uh, shows how flexible and free esel is there's just so many avenues of growth beyond social media and experimentation and trial and error which is what we are here in college for and we at research just cannot wait to hear all of your ideas and work with you so over to neil uh i'd like to hand it over to namrita she's going to be talking about uh, the logistics domain hi guys i'm namrita kuchangi i'm the head of logistic department so what we do in logistics is like we kind of bond all the other domains we are like the black backbone for the entire club so even when we have the social media happening we communicate with different domains make sure that the work happens on time so in when i started off in logistic domain i knew nothing about it but over the journey i learned how to even how to like make a plan of action how to come up how to organize an event so here you even learn learn a lot you improve your communication skills because you are the point of contact for any participant for a particular event you have to communicate with different judges and make sure that they are in the loop so you improve your communication a lot you also learn about planning budget everything so i think that if you want to improve your financial management skills or life skills logistics domain is the go to domain so i would i would love i would introduce the charvi charvi can you take it over she is core for logistics thank you namrata uh, so hi everybody i am charvi i am the core member of the logistics uh, department so uh, i mean pretty sure we would have all wondered every time we would have taken part in an event or in a competition as to if the event is so good then what would have gone behind making it what it is so that is exactly what logistics is it is uh, all the you know behind the scenes activities whatever happens to uh, deliver an event or to deliver any social media post just like how namrata said it all goes uh, through logistics so from the time you register for an event till the time the 
awards or the prizes are delivered to the participants it is all gone through uh, logistics right so um, that is exactly what logistics is all about you know keeping a track of the number of registrations the number of participants and um, the statistics of how our social media is happening you know uh, the the insights of the social media posts everything is what logistics handles and uh, if you as she rightly mentioned if you are someone who's looking to you know uh, understand budgeting or how to organize an event on a larger scale and if you are someone who's very passionate about working behind the scenes then i think logistics is the is the domain for you to be a part of thank you uh, over to you shashwat uh, hi guys i'm audible right Yes, yes, you are. Yes, so, uh, hi guys, I'm Sashwat, also the president of ESL, along with uh, Dhruv, and I work along with Neil, and uh, we work with uh, the entrepreneurship cell. Now, when you look at webinars and workshops, it must be a very common term, right? And you must be like, yeah, I've gone for a lot of webinars, I've gone for a lot of workshops. Might be interesting, might be not very uh, situational thing, but. I want to get to the crux of why a webinar or a workshop is very important and why it's focused upon right now. Like it's a very data driven world right now, right? It's it's all about what you know, but it's also very important about how you present what you know, because you might know a lot, but it always doesn't reflect uh, what you tell does not always reflect what you know. So, uh, uh, so you know a lot of the knowledge that you gain throughout your life from these various exper experiences that you go through are is very powerful it's it's probably more it's more valuable than what you learn in your textbooks or in your colleges it's all about the experiences through your uh, through uh, all the knowledge you gain through them right now uh, you know when uh, before joining college we we all have a very idealistic view about uh, the world uh, so let's say you want to uh, you are very, you are interested in launching a product and you might be like hey i have an idea it must be very simple to implement it all i need to do is go to an investor and yeah that's done and if they like my idea it goes through or it does not but a real life scenario of how this goes through versus an actual uh, uh, a real life versus an ideal scenario is very different so Uh, what these webinars and workshops help you in is a lot of people who come on these webinars are the same people like you people who have been in your place once been in the same shoes and have faced the same situations the same life struggles the same uh, you know barricades that uh, may have come between their goal and themselves but they have also overcome it so you not only learn about what they are doing but it's how they have achieved what they are doing all the various uh, milestones in their life and how they have overcome all these difficult situations that was thrown at them so we have had a lot of phenomenal speakers come in for our webinars and workshops we have had speakers like sahil kamat cs santosh fire uh, we have had brands like firefly and a lot of other uh, good personalities like bb jagdish kalpana ramesh akshat agarwal Amarish, uh, like Neil mentioned in his previous slides, so a lot of people who you can personally interact with as well. Let's say you have an idea and you do not, you do not know how to go forward with it, uh, and maybe some any one of the speaker has actually done it. You can, we have, we have a, um, we have provided the opportunity for you guys to talk and interact with these industry people as well because this will improve your. Uh, overall experience in the club and not only that right uh, all these domains that you just heard like marketing your tech your uh, content so to help better your uh, uh, better how you present how you pitch your idea how you create a content how you market and sell yourself and all these important key components we have various workshops throughout the entire semesters and that is not only always conducted by uh, industry experts but it can also be conducted by you right because in the end of the day you should know how to express what you know so we in esl we believe this a lot it's about how you can 
project yourself to the larger audience how you show what you want to uh, what you have and how you do it in a well manner that's what all these workshops do so initially even when i joined in i uh, so in esel when i joined initially i was not a really great public speaker i was a very average one and i was shy at times as well to speak get up on a stage and take uh, speak to large crowds and i did not know how to express myself at all but uh, through the years i have also given a lot of workshops for esel as a member to various other events right and that has increased my confidence and boosted it by a lot and this really helped helped me out uh can we move on to the next slide guys so that was all about you know workshop and webinars and all their importance now uh we are going to talk about the cie and the cisco incubator right cisco this it's a spark word guys must it must have caught your guys attention so but first let's go to the cie the cie is the center of uh, innovation and entrepreneurship and uh, it's headed by sathya prasad sir and uh, uh, madhukar sir and uh, they have briefed you well about what uh, cie does uh, basically uh, cie is the parent body of the esel and uh, they have helped us out on multiple locations and with their guidance we have come up with many events like the decipher which was the 48 hour hackathon we have a base camp where uh, the esel teaches uh, takes courses of entrepreneurship for the incoming batches so it's a learning for both it's a learning both ways where we teach how to where we are given an opportunity to project what we learn and the third is the cisco uh, uh, cisco incubator so the cisco incubator is uh, along with nascom so basically the whole idea of bringing cisco incubator was in an engineering college a lot or in any of the domains in let it be engineering let it be or bba let it be mba people come up with ideas daily and some of these ideas are actually very implementable and you you guys must have had a lot of ideas that you might want to you know share with people and you must be like hey i think this can actually make it out into the, into the market so this is where the cisco incubator comes in basically the idea that you have had uh will be uh, uh, along with the help from esel and a body from cisco and nascom uh, you will be working on actually building the prototype for it to go into market not only the prototype the working product so if you have ever had any ideas that you want to implement and you are like hey this is the perfect platform for you to introduce it into the market or into the world uh, over to you dhruv uh thank you sashwat so what exactly uh the esel obviously you need a lot of collaboration you need a lot of partners to be able to really push it to the level it is today and let me tell you esel is one of the biggest clubs in college every other club has a lot of uh they're very specific you know music club does only music tech clubs only do tech you only learn very specific things but esel does teaches you basically everything so one of uh, our major collaborations are basically we have red bull on board or uh, cisco as sharshat mentioned the cisco incubator we collaborate with one plus on various occasions we have collaborated with brew house uh, under 25 isec the vimana my captain coach fit narka drive easy 21 ad and there are so many more uh, smaller collaborations that we've done for various events and these are the collaborations that really bring make a difference so as neil mentioned we've had cs santosh come in who's an incredible person and that has come through the red bull collaboration and you will be learning how you can make these collaborations possible how you can get sponsors how you can talk to these brands there is a very specific way to do it and that's another thing that we make sure you learn so yeah, um over to you neil okay guys um so th- I- i'm sure this is all uh, you guys have been waiting for and uh, coming to the recruitments so um you know esel has a lot to offer and um you know unfortunately we can't offer it to all of you um 
there is a recruitment process to get into ESL. Um, we'll be recruiting 15 of you, as I said earlier. And, um, you know, there are basically no, absolutely no prerequisites um, required to show up for recruitment. You can be from any branch. You can be, uh, you know, you, it, we don't even ask for any skills. All we want, all we're looking out for is proactive and energetic individuals who give and show commitment. So if you are coming in to show, give your hundred percent, you know, you're worthy enough to be in ESL. So, you know, that's all we look for. You don't need to have any skills. Like even if you're not good at public speaking, even if you don't have any marketing skills or anything like that, that's completely all right. We just want commitment. And, um, you know, that's why, so I, I'll explain the recruitment process. So first, uh, we have our group discussion, which will be a 15 minute round. So we're going to take seven to 10 people per group. And, uh, you know, it'll be a systematic group discussion. So everybody will get to speak systematically. And uh, this group discussion will be happening uh, on day one of the recruitments. And right after the group discussion, we'll have a short one minute personal interview round. So this personal interview is just to get to know you better. Like I said, we're not testing any skills or anything. It's just to get to know you better. And uh, that will be on day one as well. So after the group discussion and one minute interview round, uh, there will be a level of screening and um, which will lead you to the final interview round. Um, you know, like I said, this will be a personal interview and don't worry, it's not going to be a stress interview or we're not going to try to roast you or anything like that. Uh, we just want to get to know you better. And, um, you know, my advice would be to like Dhruv mentioned before, uh, would be to sell yourself. And, uh, that, that's all I can say. Um, so, um, you know, moving on, uh, I'll, I'll tell you how and on which platform the recruitments will be happening. So. Uh, you know, we are very active on Discord. We have a Discord server as well. So uh, all our recruitments will be happening on the eCell Discord server. We will be sending you, uh, we, we, have a, we have a form, a Google form for recruitments. It just has two questions. Um, you know, we don't want like 500 word essays or we don't want, uh, you know, one-liners either. It, it's basically up to you. Those questions, they don't mean anything. It's just, again, it's just to get to know you better. And, um, that, that is all about the recruitment process. So, um, we will display a QR code at the end of this presentation, uh, which will lead to our website. Uh, there will be a button, uh, you can click on it. It'll lead you to our Google form. So, uh, that is the QR code, uh, www.psesl.com. Uh, the link for our discord server, the Google form, everything is on the website, all the information, everything we spoke about in this orientation as well is on the website. So you can, you can find all the details on our website and, uh, you know, we'll give you one day to fill up the form, uh, recruitments will pro hopefully, uh, you know, we haven't decided the dates, but they should start day after tomorrow and don't worry, they'll be after your classes. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, I think we can go on to, uh, the questions now. Um, uh, Gayatri, if you could read out, if you guys have any questions, you can put them down in the YouTube chat. Um, we will be here to answer them. It's for a fully minute. open to freshers or not. I'm sorry. Uh, Ayush from the YouTube live has asked if, uh, recruitments are open only to freshers or not. Um, absolutely not. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter which semester or which year you're from, you can be, a, you can take part in the, you know, you can be a part of ESL. Um, and like I said, there are no prerequisites. You can be from any branch, be from any department. Um, you know, uh, we're always welcome, going to welcome you in. So, yeah. Uh, Gatri, any other questions on the YouTube live chat? Uh, Neil, so there are some questions that we got on our Instagram DMs. Okay. Um, so one is, is ESL only for BTEC students? Um, like I just said, absolutely not. ESL is not just for BTEC students. In fact, I am a BBA student as well. So, um, I, you know, there are absolutely no restrictions. You can be from any department, design, law, civil, um, it doesn't matter. You can be a part of ESL. Um, I think we can have another minute for any questions which are coming in. Uh, there's one more question uh, from D 
the instagram dms uh, which is uh, how what are the minimum qualifications or are there any prerequisites for joining um i'm saying this for like the sixth fifth or sixth time there is absolutely no prerequisite required to join esel you don't have to have any skills you just need to show commitment and that's all we look out for and esel gives back so if you give to esel esel always gives back um like dhruv mentioned before there you know esel is one of the biggest clubs in college and the best part is there is no restriction on what you want to do um so you have ultimate or you have optimum freedom and you know cie has always been so supportive they literally support any ventures which are uh, you know proposed by the by uh, students in esel so um yeah i think that covers the the question neel there are two more questions one of them is what topics will be be talking about in the group discussion and the other one is uh, just about how the marketing team works and about sponsors and just how it goes about conducting events okay uh, i think i can answer the first one so um the the you know we actually will be giving you uh, your um we'll be giving you your topics in, in on the day like when at the time of the group discussion we are not going to be giving you your topics beforehand and don't worry it's not going to be something very technical or it's going to be something which everybody understands so i i don't think you would have to worry about the topics they're going to be very basic and uh, like i said it's going to be a systematic group discussion uh, you will have a, a minute or two to prepare and you will have an opening statement and a closing statement as well uh, as far as the marketing uh, department i think dhruv uh, you can answer this one yes so the marketing department you've asked basically how does the marketing team work in esel oh sorry my video was not how does the marketing team work in esel is it all about marketing events and bringing in sponsors is there more to add marketing events and bringing in sponsors is possibly the minimum that we really do it can go uh, marketing extends all the way up to marketing to your own professors we have to talk to satya sir we have to talk to dk sir even to them we need to market it even when you're marketing it to your own friends that makes such a big impact you all got the message for this orientation you all got the various i hope a lot of you are in mgc uh, i have a sincere request all of you who were a part of mgc drop your codes in the youtube chat i just want to see how many were there but marketing extends to every domain possible and yes we will be marketing events we will be bringing in sponsors you get a lot of experience on how to really talk to brands how to talk to companies how to talk to adults how to talk to various people there's a lot of, there's a different different procedures and you can't really learn that i can try we uh, we do an io course i'm not sure if that's there for the freshers but we do an io course usually about marketing that the esl runs um but even elsewise you can get it through just being a part of the club being a part of the community being a part of the inner circle um there's another question where it says can we pitch our ideas if so should we have anything ready we have a lot of opportunities for you to really pitch your ideas to really get your businesses off the ground like i mentioned entrepreneurship the entrepreneurship cell isn't just about startups but startups do constitute a big amount of it so we have one cie maker space which helps you really grow your uh, business second we have the pesu venture labs now this is a proper incubation center which is just recently set up you can find out a lot more about our pesuventurelabs.com and they have a lot of procedure there you can also just mail your idea to us in case you don't know for example there are a lot of uh, procedure you have to make a bmc you have to make a pitch deck there's a lot of uh, formalities to really pitch your idea so in case you don't know how to do that you can just mail us your idea you can get in touch with us on our discord server and we will definitely help you out anyone this is open to anyone and everyone in our community through this uh, one question uh, if if we don't qualify for any of the domains will we get another role so there is no qualification for a domain you will not be trying for one domain oh i think this is something that we missed out actually because when you join the esl we don't want to help you out with only one domain you will learn across the board neel just please continue yeah yeah so i was just going to tell you I, i can take this question so um you know we are not even asking for what specialization or what domain you want to work in in your form in in the form in the google form so like like dhruv just said we want all round development i have been working 
I have been a part of the content team. I have been a part of the design team. I have been a part of the research team. I have been a part of the social media team. I have done event management. Basically, in the last like, I think during the lockdown, I think in the last eight or nine months, I have learned so much, and um, you know, and that is solely because of this because we don't believe in domains. You know, we believe in giving you what you want. So, if you want to be a part of the marketing team, it's your wish. If you want to be a part of the design team, it's it's completely up to you. So, we give you the resources, and you know, in a way, you give us your ideas, and we put, we make them. You know, we convert them into reality. So, yeah, I think that answers that question, Gayatri. Uh, are there any more questions, or I think uh, can we wrap up for today? Um, we have one more question that says basically fifteen people for each domain. Like they asked if there's only fifteen people per domain. No, it's not fifteen people for domain. It's fifteen people as a whole in ESL. Uh, like I just told you, uh, the this the kind of stuff which we offer is has a lot holds a lot of value. For example, I'd say uh, I, for for example, I'll give you an example of myself. Um, you know, I've gotten to network. with some of the most successful entrepreneurs out there uh through esl and by network i mean i know them personally now so that's the kind of you know that's the kind of value add we give and we do believe that you know if you or if we're giving that kind of value add to people you know we expect commitment so that is why our acceptance rate we're only accepting 15 people in uh our recruitments but you know even if you don't get selected to be a part of the esl it doesn't matter because you'll always be a part of the community and um, you know we have this uh, like i said we believe in proactive and energetic individuals so we have this concept where uh, in the inner circle the least or the least proactive people get pushed into the community and from the community the most proactive people uh, you know get get back into the inner circle so even if you don't get selected and you're a part of the community uh you never know we can just you know we can shift you back to the inner circle so that that's how it works i think uh, that answers that question samyukta oh uh, neel is another question uh, regarding uh, club activities and uh, class timings and how much time we should keep up uh, aside for club activities all right all right okay so um club activities um like i said you know if i listed out the number of activities we do i could go on and on for days because there's literally so much we've done and you know i you can never tell because you know it's up to you guys so i i mean if you have a, a new idea for an event or an activity we make it happen so we don't have like a certain number of activities which we conduct throughout the year it depends on the inner circle members and uh, about class timings uh, i would say everything esl is a very flexible club um you know we take into consideration and we respect uh, people's time as well so um you know all the meetings or any or like whenever we work uh, we make sure it happens after class or uh, you know if it's urgent maybe that maybe it won't happen that we'll we'll keep we'll work during class hours but if it urgent if it's urgent it might happen so you know it's 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 basically a very very flexible thing uh, and there's no particular time uh on which we function or anything like that this is a question which is um, you know devansh asked when is the first round of recruitment okay uh guys so we haven't really decided this uh you know if you know um if everything goes well uh, hopefully thursday we're going to give you one day to fill up the form to fill up the recruitment form so if everything goes well uh, we will start on thursday and don't worry that will also be after your class hours so you don't have to worry about that yeah so the entire schedule everything will be up on our instagram page so if you're not following our instagram page already which i hope you really are do go and follow it right now it's ps_esl uh, the recruitment schedule uh, all the informations up there including the entire recruitment process will be going up as well um like neel mentioned thursday will be the first round we will give you till tomorrow night so make sure you fill up your uh, fill up the recruitment form by tomorrow night again recruitment forms on the psesl psesl.com okay uh, dhruv i think uh, are there any other question 
uh, if uh, Samyukta, are there any other questions or else uh, maybe we could go on to um, talking about uh, MGC and then we can end uh, this session today. Yeah, there, there are no other questions. Okay, guys. Uh, so we've had, um, you know, uh, we've had an event uh, just before the orientation. It was called Meet, Greet and Connect. It's actually the second edition of Meet, Greet and Connect. And, um, you know, last year it was physical. This year it was virtual. Uh, we saw more than 500. I, I think the final number was more than, yeah, I think it was 650 participants. So we saw 650 participants over the course of two days, which is absolutely amazing. And uh, you guys basically crushed the event. Um, we will be announcing the winners on Instagram, uh, on our stories by either tonight or tomorrow morning. So please look out for that. And um, yeah, uh, all the be very best for the recruitments. And uh, we hope to see all of you becoming a part of ESL or the ESL community soon. Thank you so much. So yeah, I would just like to add. Uh, yeah. uh, what? Sorry. We are always reachable through our Instagram, through email. So if you have any questions, please do drop it in there. Again, I want you guys to drop your codes in the chat. So if the winner, we do know who the winner is, but we don't want to announce it if the winner is not here. So if the winner is here, we will be announcing it immediately. Um, so yeah, so we'll give it another three minutes because I think the lag is around 10 seconds. But I hope you guys uh, really learned a lot. And I promise you, the experience that you gain, you are never going to stop talking about it your entire college life. Uh, so yeah, all the best to everybody. We will, like Neil mentioned, we'll be only taking 15 people. And uh, yeah, kill it. If you have any questions regarding college, since we've kept this till 8.30, if you have any questions in general regarding college, you can drop that as well. All of us will be, uh, try our absolute best to answer it. Um, yeah. But thanks guys so much for joining us today. Uh, Dhruv and Neil, can I have a couple of last words? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Just wanted to say very impressive presentation, but uh, let me assure all those who are on the call, this is not just hot air. The e-cell and you guys really rock. Really impressive, uh, you know, uh, show from the past uh, so many months, a year uh, from the time I've been uh, you know, associated with you. Great going, guys. Keep it up. And I hope your the e-cell grows really good. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Your message I wanted to pass on to all the freshers and those who want to join also. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Welcome, yeah. So, guys, please remember the recruitment form will close tomorrow night. So if you know anyone who's interested, who wasn't able to attend the orientation, this orientation will be recorded for anyone who wants to watch it on later on. You can just go on to our, the same YouTube link that you've used to watch the live stream, share with your friends and they can watch it at any point of time. And um, yeah, I think that that wraps up since there are no more questions regarding college either. Uh, please, we are very, very open. One, oh, says, one question. Yeah. Once. Someone asked how to apply for it. I didn't get it with data. I think they had some network connectivity. Okay, Ashwa, no worries. Um, so to apply, you just need to go to psesal.com. The recruitment form will be the first button you see. Click on that and fill up the form to just submit your details and we'll uh, get back to you later. So now MGC, Meet and Connect was the second edition which has completed as the orientation began. So you cannot get a code now. It had been running for the past three days. Uh, you can try, check out our highlights to really see how exactly it worked. But that highlight will be going down by the end of today as well. All right, guys, that wraps it up. It's 8.30. And if we are nothing, if not punctual, thank you all so much for joining. And we are very, very excited to see what you all have in store for us when you're a part of us. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Bye.